March is a month where we celebrate St. Patrick's Day and the first day of spring, but it is also Women's History Month. Trailblazer Dorothy Reed and entrepreneur Doris Lynn talk about being women in the professional world at different times. My credibility was, was always in question. It was always a matter of having to prove my, myself. Being in fashion tech, I think being a woman on the fashion side definitely helps and it's a lot easier to connect with, you know, our target users are most primarily female. So um, from that perspective, designing your product, you know, could, does help that I am a female and can relate to them. I did have someone who was open to change. As I say, it was the time the city was integrating and he, he wasn't doing it because he was forced to be doing it. He did believe in it. Um, so it helped. But on the aspect of technology, it is in a more male-dominated sense. We have a morning meeting that is entirely white male. There's not even a female in there, female voice in there, and there's no black voice in there. So these are the people who are deciding what's important for the audience here to, to see on television. When I was a computer science major, I would be in classes with, you know, a lot of guys, but when it came down to, like, you know, certain things where they were like, oh my god, I can't believe you're in this class, like, things like that, where it just kind of showed that even though it's not common, but there, there were just a couple more females in the class with me that we always didn't feel like we belonged. And a lot gets uh, lost as a result of that. So all I'm saying is that we need to have a place at the table. From a day-to-day -day perspective, you don't really realize until maybe like you go to a conference and everyone in the room is male, but I think from a respect standpoint, it is, you know, being a female, I don't feel like I'm less respected most of the times. They were paid more to begin with, and that was the bottom line. I think of it as an advantage because you're almost seen as like the underdog in most situations where they don't expect you to know certain, you know, specific thing, but then you do know, um, and then you can take people by surprise in that aspect. Oh, I hate to think of myself as a role model. <laughs> so my business school, we had a lot of female founders founding um, fashion startups or fashion tech startups. So kind of using them as role models from that perspective made it more like, oh, this is something new, but there's people who are paving the way, so it doesn't feel like you're so alone, but at the same time, you know it's not gonna be a smooth ride. But you're gonna get ahead by showing, demonstrating how aggressive you are, because under certain circumstances, you gotta be extraordinarily aggressive to get the news, to get the story, and you always have to get the story.